In this video, we want to go on a trip. A very long trip. Each second of this video, millions of years is passing in the real world. And even in the final second of this video, human existence hasn't happened yet. Hundreds of millions of years after the Big Bang, space dust and gases pile up and create the first stars. This is 13 billion years ago and different types of stars are being formed. The stars that are being born are creating different clusters that eventually it will turn into a galaxy. This is 12 billion years ago. Some galaxies formed close to each other and the gravity of these giant bodies are affecting each other. And finally, they join each other. It's very easy for us to say that they eventually join each other. But this process is taking hundreds of millions of years. We get to 11 billion years ago, when the universe is very young at 3 billion years old. When you look at the universe in this era, everything is changing and evolving to be better. At this time, a series of stars are finally dying and many other stars are just being born and planets are forming around these stars. We get to 10 billion years ago, when the universe age is 3.8 billion years. One of the biggest forces in the universe is gravity and it creates a lot of different things. It's gravity that shapes everything in the universe, but it is also the same thing that destroys everything because it releases a consistent energy and it's extremely merciless. When you look at a giant star that has died, you see a collapsed core that has turned into unlimited space. That piece of space is the same thing we call a black hole. We're slowly getting to 9 billion years ago. A lot of scientists believe that black holes are the most powerful bodies in space. And that's because it could eat up a whole star like Jello, like it's nothing. But the black hole doesn't eat up the sun with one bite. Not only do black holes have a lot of gravity, they're extremely patient as well. To pull in a giant body like a star, it slowly starts from the edges. And since it has consistent power of gravity, the star has lost the battle and it creates a highway of plasma and sucks in the entire star. 
You could say the star is guaranteed to lose the battle in this situation. Scientists know a lot about space and stars, but they don't know anything about the center of a black hole. The only thing they know is that the gravity is so strong that light can't even escape. We're moving forward and we finally get to the 6 billionth birthday of the universe, 7.8 billion years ago. When you look at the star, the gravity is always trying to escape the star, but the gravity is doing the exact opposite and it's keeping the energy in there. And this tug of war continues for billions of years until the sun eventually dies, and it explodes with a supernova. When a star explodes with a supernova, all the elements that has been producing in the core of the star for billions of years it's released into space. The same elements that you can find on Earth and elements that form life like carbon, iron, or even gold. When a star explodes, it leaves a beautiful nebula, which is made up of plasma, dust, and gas. And it's the same nebula that create the next generation of stars. When this nebula reaches 5.8 billion years ago, one of the stars created is very familiar to us, the Sun. When we reach 5 billion years ago, around this brand new star, there are planets forming. And when you reach 4.6 billion years ago, a very unique planet is forming around this star. A planet we all know and love. Earth. At this time, the Earth is a hell. But even with all that going on, the surface of the planet is starting to form and dry up. But it's still conquered by volcanoes. We reach the 1 billionth birthday of planet Earth, 3.6 billion years ago. At this time, you can finally find water on this planet, water that rained down with meteors. The water causes the planet to finally cool and stop looking like a hell. Earth is finally getting ready to hold life. And three and a half billion years ago, the first single cell organisms came to life. At this time, these single cell organisms are the most complex life you can find on Earth. Around two and a half billion years ago, you finally find microbes in the water that are basically oxygen-making microbes. And just like the name says, after millions of years, these microbes create so much oxygen that it fills up the atmosphere. These microbes were the reason the first generation atmosphere was created on Earth.
these microbes did another important thing. With the oxygen they created throughout the year, it allowed single cellular organisms to finally turn into multi-cell organisms. And this is the first step towards complicated living things. And that's around one and a half billion years ago. There is a theory that about one billion years ago, the Earth was a giant snowball, and it is believed that it was the worst ice age in Earth's history. Even with all that, these single cell and multi cell organisms are living underneath the ice, and throughout the years, they're evolving to be stronger and better. We reach 700 million years ago, the time where finally we get complicated life. The more we move forward, these living things get more complicated and more complicated. 500 million years ago, we got these five-eyed animals and the first roaches were roaming the earth, the trilobites. And the more we move forward, we finally reach the dinosaur era, around 245 million years ago. We have to say that dinosaurs roamed the earth for the longest period of time in animal history. They basically owned the planet for more than 180 million years. Human history has barely touched 3 million years. 65 million years ago, the dinosaurs go extinct. And the earth shakes itself and allows new forms of life to be created. Animals like this the Purgatorius, one of the first primates. Time is still passing, millions of years goes by, and we get to three million years ago. The first type of human is roaming Africa, the Australopithecus. We continue to move forward, living things are evolving throughout the year, and we finally reach today, the year 2023. But changes is still happening, and it seems like it's never going to stop.